Chillers, 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 welcome back, welcome back, people, it's the Critic Corp, I am Tope, this is my anime corner, uh, review today on Soul Leveling, um, episodes 7 and 8, um, sorry I didn't, you know, give, uh, my little recap last weekend, uh, you know, I, I just had to let things simmer real quick, cause, um, that 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 previous episode episode six with him and the spider, and him having to kill all those hunters was just so fucking wild to me. I like, I had to let that shit, uh, you know, process and shit in my brain and whatnot. Let that shit simmer, man. Even even the anime, um, you know, the anime people, fucking, they they knew they had to let things simmer with this shit, uh. Cause what last last week was supposed to be eight, and then it ended up being a uh, little recap episode. You know how they do like seven and a half or whatever, seven point five, or whatever. Cause uh, yeah, this this week supposed to be nine, but you know they had a little delay. They they call it a delay, but you know they just uh trying to figure out more ideas probably or something or. You know, just like I said, letting shit simmer. But, uh, yeah, man. I, I, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I'm going to keep saying this shit. Like, fucking this anime solo leveling is, like, it, it's on another level. Um, I, like, I can't even put it into words and explain to you guys how much I'm just, you know, starting to really love and understand this anime. Because it, it's shit I'm still trying to figure out. Like, the guilds, the guilds, that shit. I, they, they, they specified a little bit more, um... In episode 8, about the guilds, I guess it's fucking 5 of them, I didn't even know that, I thought it was only 2, and what, yeah, it's, it's fucking, it's a hunter's guild, a white tiger's guild, a reaper's guild, a fame guild, knight's guild, and these, these, all these guilds are like, very, very popular, they're like the 5 largest guilds of the country, um, and how they work, you know, is is pretty much a monopoly on, you know, on the dungeons, on a on a, on a dun on a dungeon related shit, you know, for their profits. And um, is 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 wild because I like I said I didn't even know it was that many guilds to begin with. So, um, I feel like more as the season goes on um they're going is is going to expand on that on the guilds and whatnot we're going to get introduced more and more to these uh these other guilds um fucking jin Wu, he <laughs> that man he's becoming uh he's becoming a true work of art a true work of art man like um, I like it. Is it's just so wild to me that how much he's developing, like just so fast, so rapidly, man. And um, he's a fucking he's an E rank. Like he's the lowest of the low of a rank. And it, it's just funny to me because everybody that you know that knew him. Or know of him, you know, they they deemed him as you know just a worthless piece of uh you know piece of space in the hunting hunters community, and now you know they they're starting to become aware of his um <laughs> his you know his his fucking his 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 level his levels his leveling up you know he he's fucking. He's he's becoming um, a, a a better hunter day by day, man. Especially with 
the way um, he keeps getting all these damn little solo missions and, uh, you know, daily, completing all these daily uh, quests and getting all these rewards and whatnot, he's, man, it's, 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 looking, it's, it's looking very good for Jin Woo, man. Um, it didn't look too good for him on episode 7. He's, uh, he was facing this goddamn fucking, uh, three-headed hellhound, Severus or whatever, um, and he, he, the, the, the fucking hellhound was an S-rank. Mind you, this, this nigga, Jim Woo, he, he cold, he cold with it, but he ain't to that level yet. <laughs> He ain't to that level yet. He ain't to that stage yet of, um, you know, development in his power. So, the the Hellhound was put in the straight up, literal, literally pause to this man. And he ends up, you know, finding out um, that he has a, like... It was a fucking level up that happened, like a request, uh, a quest rewards that happened um, from his pre previous missions. Um, I think it's called like health and longevity. It, well, it so it helps. Um, you know, it, it pretty much detoxes his body of bullshit. You know, keeps him clean, pure, because he he uh, you know. He was drinking alcohol. It was, one, it was one part of the uh, episode. He was drinking alcohol. And he wasn't feeling anything. He just kept pounding and pounding alcohol. So, he, you know, he tied that into his battle. And was like, shit, I got this poison. This little venomous poison drink that's supposed to, like, you know, harden my skin. Because he, like I said, he this boy was getting his ass whooped. Like, he need he needed some type of extra armor to aid to him. And he ends up, you know, drinking his goddamn, what's the name? Um, poison. And turns the fuck up on this hellhound, man. Turns the fuck up on this nigga, bro. Like, Going to work on his on on the on the middle middle hellhound heads eye like, bro. And then once he found out, um, you know, like a a fucking he because he strategized like when he could when his opening when he when he best had when he had his best opening to strike this fucking hellhound and that's when he um you know. As it was, it was it was perfect. It was perfect timing when he fucking drunk the poison, and yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> he leveled up. <laughs> he leveled the fuck up. End up obtaining um this goddamn uh another key because I guess the initial key he obtained to even enter that a little realm was just the outside barriers, and that hellhound was protecting. The dungeon. So now that he beat, he, he defeated the Hellhound. Now he actually gets to go into the. Uh, it's called the Demon's Castle, um, and fight the the real boss. But he 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 knew he knew he had his work cut out for him. He knew he he didn't want that smoke. So he uh he ends up you know fleeing the scene. Um, he also obtained, you know, the, uh, Elixir of Life. That was, that, that was his main focus, the Elixir of Life. So, it can, um, cause it's supposed to cure all illnesses and whatnot. And he's, he's, he's hoping to try and use it on his mother that's, you know, fucking been in, uh, just a dog-ass, just vegetable state since the season started. Since they introduced this whole thing. Um, but yeah, he knew, he, he knew he had to, he had to wait and come back. Like he, uh, he most definitely had to, uh, go, <laughs> go level up, solo level up some more, get, you know, get his life together before he can go and handle the, the main boss. If he couldn't even handle the gatekeeper, 
what the fuck you think he gonna do against the like the 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 main like so yeah yeah he had to he he had to leave he had to leave he had to get the fuck on you know he said he'll be back um episode eight was kind of just a uh you know a setup for episode nine I feel like episode um episode eight was pretty much just him realizing that he's going to that Jin Woo realizing he's going to have to um you know bite the bullet and fucking uh join you know join forces with people on these certain missions just so he can get some you know get some get his attributes up and whatnot and obtain some more money and shit, you know, to pay for his mother's hospital bills and rent and all that type of shit, you know. Um, so he joins forces with uh, Jin Ho, because Jin Ho comes to comes to him with a dog ass proposition, bro. Dog ass proposition to fucking, um, you know, because Jin, Jin Ho, he, you know, he's part of, he's part of this whole rich family, he comes from this rich family and whatnot, like, his, the whole family's business is just generated with wealth, and he's trying to, um, he's, 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 he's trying to get a, you know, get a seat, get a chair in that, in that, within that, uh, company, and so that he, uh, can bring some benefits you know, to the, to the family and whatnot, to the whole organization, so, he's trying to become a guild master, and, um, in order to do that, you gotta complete fucking, what, 19, no, 20, yeah, 20 missions, and, you know, 20 missions within your rank and whatnot, and, um, you know, he's only completed, that was his first one, was that one with Jin Woo, so, he has Jin Wu, you know, who helped me def uh, defeat all these other fucking C rank missions successfully. I give you 30, uh, 30 fucking, what's the name? What is it? 30 mil, I think he said. Or, uh, was it 30 mil? My dumb ass. Yeah, 30 bill. <laughs> 30 bill. He, yeah, he, uh, that's a lot of money, you know. Oh, that's a big that's a big difference between thirty mil and thirty bill. But yeah, thirty bill. And uh you know that 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 in Jin Woo's eyes, at first he was like, you know me back in the day, yeah, but now I gotta I gotta I gotta uh you know, I gotta think more before I do shit. Cause it's like he can't, he can't really show people his skills, cause then they gonna start to question his rank. And then on top of that, he just he 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 being a greedy motherfucker, you know he he wants to do most missions alone. And level the fuck up like crazy. So, it's, <laughs> it's a big dilemma for this man. For him to do, to even decide to do any type of mission with any type of form of a team. <laughs> and so, you know, yeah, like I said, he had to bite the bullet, join forces with him. Um, in order to raise his abilities and shit like that. But then he also gets a uh, fucking, you know, a request to do a D class uh, raid mission. And um, he ends up reuniting with all the fucking hunters that, uh, you know, that left him to die in that initial, that initial mission that he, you know, that he became that boy. <laughs> that guy, um, he ends up reuniting with Mr. Song, fucking, uh, Joe, he, her old bitch ass, 
still post trauma. Um, Mr. Kim Hoaz, who sacrificed, left their ass hanging. Mr. Kang, you know, the, the, the one, the survivors, the ones that made it. So it's them. On top of that, it's this sketchy ass, uh, employer, B rank employer that's like supposed to spectate over him named, uh, Kang, uh, what's his name? Kang Tay, Kang Tay Sheik. Um, he looks a little sketchy. I don't know. His his intentions do not look pure at all. I don't it doesn't seem too clear. If I feel like he's um a little spy from fucking um manager Wu fucking um you know, just to speculate and get some intel on this Jin Wu <laughs> dude cuz uh yeah. He managed the manager Wu dude. He 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 keeps fucking hearing his name. He keeps hearing Jin Wu's name involved in all these fucking um successful as missions, where it's just him and one other person that survive. Or is is and it's it's just weird because you know like I said he's he's a low ass rank and he's on these higher rank missions and coming out successful so it's just looking a bit strange and um yeah I, I just feel like Kane Tay is uh he's there to get some you know get some insight on this Mr. Jin Woo <laughs> uh especially given the title for the next episode episode nine it's called you've been hiding your skills um so put two and two together yeah um but yeah man this, uh, these two episodes were fucking fire. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see where the fuck, um, all these guilds stand. Like, where all these guilds stand. Um, also, I, I want to see, um, oh boy, Yona. Yon, cause Yon Beck, what's his name? Yon Ho Beck and uh, Jong In Cho, they ended up uh, having a little meeting. You know, one's a uh, guild, part of the White Tiger Guild, one's part of the Hunters Guild. And, uh, you know, he ends up trying to recruit Yon um, to, you know, Make his make his alliance stronger because they only got mind you they only got two in the hunters deal um, they only got two s s rank hunters um, and you know it would be so much better with three I mean I guess you know uh, in his eyes it uh in Jones eyes fucking and then he also brought up some shit called J J Drew Island. So, I'm thinking that's like, a, a, like just a high ass. That that shit's only meant for S ranks and S ranks only type of deal. And it's it's a lot of shit that that's dumb. That's probably gonna go down on that island. And Jin Woo is probably gonna end up getting involved. I can already see it, man. I can already see it. You know, um. Cause he's just that boy. He's that guy. You know, <laughs> he's the truth. He's the truth. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh girl, the blonde haired girl. Uh, Hunter Chai Hey. She got approached by this uh this scout of the what was it the Yojin Yojin Construction about. Uh, you know, joining forces with them and becoming a guild master under their uh, new launching guild. It's just, it's just, it's a lot of of alliances trying to form on top of, um, you know, um, individual motives at stake as well. You know. 
like like I said, as far as Jin Wu and his leveling up, Jin Ho and him trying to become a guild, uh, you know, a guild master, and then even fucking oh boy, um, Don Suk's brother, uh, he he he's on true full vengeance. He he don't care if he gotta do time or not. He even asked his assistant, like, you know, what's <laughs> was was all the risk of me killing these hunters? Cause I I gotta I, I gotta I gotta get on their head. I gotta get on their ass. They they just murked my brother. They just murked my big bro. Like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like that's what that's how he coming. He don't give two fucks. So yeah, man. I can't wait for I can't wait for next episode. I can't wait just for this whole season in general to see how the outcome is of it because it's fucking it's it's just fucking wild, man. Episode for episode, it's just getting wilder and wilder, and I'm loving it. I'm fucking loving it. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got for you guys on this one. Um, like and subscribe, support the motherfucking corp. I will be back with some more vids. Um, just, you know, stay tuned for them. And yeah, so be it. Toodles!